Hello guys and welcome to another week and welcome to another video and as you probably can tell we got a couple of new dailies Lago Majora Monza and Brands Hatch as I'm not a huge fan of Brands Hatch I decided to spend a little bit more time at Lago Majora and the first race that I've done was with the RX Vision so the reason why I tried this car because this is the car that I signed for manufacturer season so I need to run this car for the whole season and I really wanted to learn a lot more tracks with this car instead of anything else on this one so it's not like the best car out there but it's something that can work so in this case or in this race I decided to you know just see what I can do I didn't really do that much practice and by the way I'm using TCS one I had a lot of questions about it and the reason why I'm using it is because this car is really sketchy in some of the turns especially this one so you have to exit in second gear but also if you're in third the car might spin out so that's why I'm using TCS one and I'm only using it while I'm running mediums or hearts with the softs I'm not using it and here we can have a look at the first move of the day Lev just tries to dive down the inside gives him a little punt but I don't think Jacket really left that much space and I try to squeeze myself in this one and I really couldn't do it I don't honestly think this was kind of a cleanest move that someone could have done there but in general he made it stick and Jack just couldn't make it back so this section was really crucial because I thought oh maybe this is not smart it's really not smart to go on the outside of this turn since it's a really fast turn and any kind of contact will potentially lead to a spin or a huge crash so I really decided to let it go and really focus on the rest of the race so this race is five laps long and as you can see my Mazda had so much better acceleration I had so much better cornering speed but just the straight line speed wasn't there I mean I even tried to go on the outside once again going on the outside of doesn't matter which turn it is on this track it's not a smart idea you can probably do it maybe in some cases but you know 90% of the time it will lead to a crash so I try to keep it clean I try to keep it smooth don't make any sudden change of directions with this car because it might slip out and it's just not the best thing to do here this was one of the corners where I really had a tough time when I was in the slipstream so that dirty air meant that I was gonna lose a lot of that front downforce and it just wasn't it wasn't optimal so I had to break a little bit earlier and even in this corner it was it was really tough to get around this one because you really don't want to push someone in this corner and you of course want to get the best possible line out so it's kind of difficult when you're driving against other cars because Supra wasn't really that great in this section but it was better in let's say straights or in the other sections it was really really good so I was just trying to keep it let's say keep it in about half a second maybe even less than that and then maybe you know go for a move later on in the lap but you know in the corners where I was quick he wasn't so he was actually stopping me from you know going quick in that section so it was it was kind of a tough time because even on the straights I thought okay maybe this is the time to go for it but it's really not there I don't have the straight line speed I mean even in the slipstream it's just not enough I had the you know I had the acceleration out of some corners but on the straight where you really need it this car isn't the best it's good in tires it's good in some kind of tight turns but here it's just not no, it's just not having that little extra speed that can you know work against the Supra because Supra one of the quickest cars in the straight line and you can really see that difference here so I'm quick here in this section and just as I get close enough I lose the downforce and I almost lost the car in that corner I mean it was it was really really tough one so here I mean I try to get kind of the best possible exit and you know clipping the gravel and I hit the wall I mean it was a little bit of damage but I didn't really lose that much time in the end this could have been a lot lot worse so on the exit with this car and yeah I think this pretty much answers your question why am I using TCS with this car and you can really see how much it slides with dirty tires even in third or fourth gear it really slides a lot so you have to be very very careful with this car so yeah I think that pretty much sums it up you have to use TCS1 and even in some conditions I think even TCS2 really helps with the car so for the optimal lap and for the optimal time yeah without TCS it is probably faster but in the race like this when there is so many things going around you you really need to focus and use that TCS one if you can and when you can so I kind of denied that move you know it was it was looking better for me but it was lap four out of five and I was starting to catch the German it was kind of recovering my podium here and he had a pretty bad exit out of that section I know it's 
kind of difficult to get around this corner and even make a move with the Mazda here. But I really said to myself, you know, I'm going to go for it. I got the speed. I'm going to try to go on the outside. And not the best thing to do. Definitely not the best thing to do. But he gave me just about enough space. And I was able to squeeze myself in there. And I was able to get that place. So I was kind of back in the podium. And in the end, when I think about it, I really didn't lose that much time. And I think I only lost like a couple of seconds to the leading guys. So, you know, it could have been a lot worse, but in the end, it's still a podium. It's still a P3 and this Mazda kind of survived. Let's say I survived this race. So we are moving on to the next race. And this was race number two with the 911 RSR. So this race, I have to say, it was much, much better. I really find pace quickly with this car and I even improved my qualifying time. It wasn't quite enough to improve my overall starting position but you know it was actually starting to feel like a proper car I mean I don't know if no one is really using this car I mean in the top 20 I saw this was probably I think maybe one car in the top 20 all of the other cars were Genesis and I think we had a couple of RCZs and something like that so I think it was a BRZ not not the RCZ so yeah, it is a decent car. I think it can definitely work and Avi almost lost it. So in a couple of turns, this can be a really tough car to handle, especially like that second gear when you need to turn and accelerate at the same time. Here, it's super stable. I know I, in the end, I compared this one to the Genesis and it was a much, much better car and it was like very, very, I was very confident to put the power down and this is exactly how I made that move stick. I went down the inside and, you know, through this section, it had much more grip, it was much, much more stable and I was just able to get this car through the section and eventually get that place. So now, in the slipstream from Jack and now Avi is trying to get his place back, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna keep myself in the slipstream and I kind of went defensive there. I mean, Jack really moved so I cannot go for that move. And in the end, second gear on the way out and you can really see the difference between Jack and me. So I was able to really close up to him. But now, as he picked up the speed, as this, in general, this super really picks up the speed, it's really difficult to follow him, even in the slipstream. I mean, the you know, it just has so much more straight line speed and it's almost impossible to keep it in let's say slipstream range and even make a move on let's say on the straight and in some of the turns so you need to make you mean you need to make your moves in some turns but it's really difficult since there is not a lot of place in some turns because they're really sharp and if it closes down the inside it's going to be really difficult to do something like that so you know i thought to myself you know just let's let's do it let's keep it clean maybe he will make a mistake maybe i'll try to squeeze myself in some of these turns and eventually i will get this place but you know second gear and you can see how much quicker porsche is in this section i mean it's it's incredible and then when he gets you know once he gets on the straight when he picks up the speed i just cannot do much i mean it, it's this is a pretty clear example of that okay i had a little wobble on the way out but i'm not getting that much time on the way out it's it's incredible when he picks up the speed it's better it's simply better and even then this corner so cornering speed not that great and i'm closing up really quickly but again he got up to speed there is nothing that i can do this section again but i thought about myself i mean what can i do here maybe i can try the different line maybe i can just try to do something else but there was really nothing much that i could have done so slipstream and you can really see the effects of the slipstream. I'm getting closer, but I'm not getting close enough. So it is the fastest, let's say I'm kind of in the fastest lap of the race so far, but it's only lap two, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna count that. But it's just not enough. So in this corner, once again, I'm closing up, but I'm closing up just about not enough. So it's, yeah, so it's really, it's kind of, frustrating to have a race like this because you always know that you have much more speed through good corners you can follow him but then on the straight when you really need that speed you don't have it you just don't have the speed to overtake so this is kind of the frustrating part out of all of this and you know even in this section the supra had so much speed i don't know where he was pulling out that off so you know even if he went really really wide it, i think the dirty tires really played it i would i wouldn't say a crucial role in this corner but it was definitely something that you don't want to do so you always want to get onto the track and even when you have the chance to do something he closes down the door and there is just absolutely no space you know there is no chance of doing something like that so 
I was really just trying to mind my own business, drive a clean race until this point. Yeah, to get the fastest possible line out of this corner, you need to take the inside of, inside of that curb. But it's risky, because you might pick up a penalty, and that's exactly what happened to me. Half a second, and even I tried to go for a move, I caught him up, and then I thought, okay, he will leave the doors open, I will go for it, and then later I can kind of minimize my damage, and eventually, you know, maybe even be in that fight for P1, but, you know, just just straight line speed of this car meant to see Yeah, he defended really hard, I gave him the space, and... I you know, it's the good thing that I gave him the space. I didn't really want to push him outside of the track. And you can see that I'm really pushing at this point, so that second gear. But now, I also got Avi behind, and Jack is in front of me, so I'm kind of in the sandwich, and I can really not do much, and I have a half a second penalty. And I even got this little tap from Avi, and I even wanted to let him go, just, you know, go for it, I have a half a second penalty, but he still waited for me. That's... Yeah, that's what a clean driver does. He waits for you if he makes that mistake, so... Thank you very much, Avi. I mean, it was nice, good, clean driving, but in general, I mean... It was still half a second penalty on my end, so I was... Either way, I'm gonna lose that place. So it wasn't much at this point, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna lose, like, not one, I'm gonna lose two places. And even this Genesis kind of squeezed himself out of this one. So I had the acceleration out of this corner, but look at the speed. I never thought the Genesis would have so much better acceleration. And he just pulled away from me, couldn't do much, and I thought to myself, maybe if he makes a mistake now, maybe I can just squeeze myself in here. But, you know, it's really, really quick car, and just there is no chance of... You know, getting in those mid-speed corners, let's say, slow to mid-speed corners, it's a really, really good car. And, you know, I really can see the reason why he's, or the car is always in the top 10 on the leaderboards. And just, he closes down the door, there is really nothing much that I could have done. And, you know, penalties got me here, and it's just a tiny penalty that got me here. Instead of finishing in P2 or even fighting for P1... I kind of finished this one in P4, so not even a podium. And now, we will jump into race 3, and this is where I just tried to get this one with the Genesis X. So the car that was really good in the previous race, and I thought to myself, you know what, maybe I can just try to do something with this car, maybe I can have the speed. I did a couple of laps before the race, I had about 6 minutes I believe, and I mean, it was looking okay and not exactly as promising as with the Porsche but I thought to myself okay maybe if I can pick the speed on the straight I will be able to overtake these Porsches around me and they will not really be a threat since I have more straight line speed and since I can actually overtake with this car so with the Porsche it's extremely difficult you can stay with someone but it's extremely difficult to overtake but with this car it's the exact opposite it's difficult to stay with someone, as you can probably tell here, but then on the straight, if you get a good exit out of some turns, and eventually this one was a really good one, and just a little lift, and yeah, you can really see the speed difference, so I'm kind of getting closer, I'm not really pushing that hard, but I'm still able to overtake, and once again, diving down to the inside, just trying to hold my place, and I thought Avi thought he might get the slipstream effect, but it just wasn't enough to save him, so... You know, getting myself into P2, I mean, it's kind of looking okay, and I thought to myself, now, you know, now it's the real time to go for that P1. I can see Jack, he's like, okay, man, you know, you, you're in a Genesis now, and you're, it's not going to be that easy to defend now. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to put him under so much pressure that, you know, I'm just going to give it all out. So I... You know, I really tried with this car, but like second and third gear are really difficult. And even if you tap the curb in a wrong way with a wrong angle, it might you might lose control. It might slide. It slides quite a lot. So second and third gear in slower turns are difficult to control, and the car is really really difficult to control. So we are fast forwarding forwarding to the next lap, and I was getting really really close now to Jack. And you know, at the one point that I was like two tenths behind, which is extremely close. So in the next slipstream zone, in the next straight, I have a but good. I I wouldn't say that I have a good potential of you know maybe uh, getting that place, but I will maybe go for that move. And you can really see that I'm. 
kind of careful in that second to about 30 gear. I really don't want to lose the car, but you know, he is doing the same thing because this Supra in third gear is not like the easiest car to control. My car was actually a lot better in these kind of mid speed to high speed turns, and then you can really see that. I mean, yeah, just one little wrong move and just one little angle that is not perfect with this car is just gonna mean you know you're gonna lose it and the car isn't in that optimal position and the car is gonna slip away from you and as usual or as in the previous race i picked up a half a second penalty in exactly the same spot i was by the way trying to get as close as possible to jack not to lose that much straight line speed and maybe even kind of get close to him so i don't even lose the slipstream and what was kind of getting really really close and the genesis was a really decent car in this whole section so if you get to the inside of the curb it has really nice rotation and you can really push with this car so fifth gear and you can see i'm actually getting closer and this would have been maybe an overtaking position or overtaking spot but again half a second penalty meant that I'm not gonna be there, I mean I'm just gonna lose that chance of potentially getting that win and I even missed this corner now so I was actually trying to defend from the Porsche behind and instead of going for uh, for a win now I have to defend the podium or even that second place and I mean I just try to keep it cool, I try to keep it in line and eventually maybe if the guy in front of me or Jack loses, uh, loses control of the car and makes a lot of mistakes, picks up a penalty I don't know if lightning strikes to him, maybe something can happen, but, you know, he kept his cool, he, he kept it in line, and eventually he got that win, so I thought even here, maybe if he goes too wide, he picks up the penalty, but no, I mean, it's a well, well deserved win, and I just thought, okay, I have absolutely no luck, but in the end, I think it's all my fault, or all my driving, and I have to just improve my qualifying, put myself into that position and you know go for the win in the next race so guys that's pretty much about it i really hope that you enjoyed in this race or even this compilation of races and until the next time bye